my friends, we're in Cambodia today and you're going to meet our friend Miranda today. You're going to find out why she's here, what she's doing here, and why she's doing it. I am here with Miranda. How long have you been here? I have been in Cambodia for almost three years. So where are we here? Like we're here out in the middle of nowhere. What are we doing here and what is this all about? This is property that we have recently purchased for a Cambodia boarding academy. You don't already have something like that here in Cambodia? We have, or the mission has, one other uh, boarding academy in Phnom Penh uh, okay. in the English language. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what is your role in relation to this project? the Sporting Academy. I am with JFA. <laughs> uh -huh. So Jesus for Asia has made an agreement to work with the mission. Okay. Or to partner with the mission to start this project and see it through to operation. Uh -huh. So I am spearheading the project for J on the JFA side. Okay. And working in collaboration on more of a daily basis with the mission. Are you like in charge of this project or like, no, <laughs> um, there's a committee of us, Okay. but I work um, for this project every day and okay. other members of the committee are like uh, education director, uh, president of the mission. You know, a lot of missionaries, like they come to the foreign field like this and they usually, what I usually see is they start a project, they're like the ones in charge and they've maybe got some local people helping them, but she's in a really different situation. And I want to know, like, you know, what are the advantages of that? I don't want to be in charge because I want this to be a real Cambodian boarding academy. Uh -huh. I, want, I, I want to see the Cambodian mission and the teachers and people that we train to come to this school mm -hmm. be able to take over and run it by themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be relying on me or necessarily even relying on Jesus for Asia. Mm -hmm. I want it to become a self-sustaining mm -hmm. place where many people have the ability to run this school. One other question I have then is, like as a young person, because you're how old? 23. 23. So especially Asian cultures like this, like age is a big thing. So like, you know, in Thailand also, like if you're younger, even though you're a foreigner, you're not going to be listened to. You know, they, they might treat you respectfully, but they're not going to listen to you as much or you might not have as much influence, but how can a young person come to a country like this and be helpful? How can they be of benefit to the already existing church that's here? I think a big part of it is being humble and recognizing that you are young, earning people's trust and being helpful mm -hmm. to, to the church that already exists, respectful of what is already here, mm -hmm. uh, can just go a long way in making good relationships. Mm -hmm. Uh, as missionaries, we're not necessarily coming here to to tell them everything that's going wrong anyway. Mm -hmm. we're, we're here to find a way and work with God to help the mission to grow. Mm -hmm. It can be, at times, you know, frustrating. Everything can be frustrating culturally. Yeah. It, it'll be very different. But when we do that, we can, we can have the opportunity to grow and God will be glorified. Would it be better than to just wait until you're older and not come as a young person? Like, <laughs> why is it better to come as a young person? <laughs> well, there's a lot of practical reasons. Uh -huh. When you're young, you have energy, you have ideas, you're able to learn language, you're able to adapt in a way that that's more difficult when you've established yourself or you have a family. True. So coming as a young person and learning how to get outside your comfort zone, mm -hmm. um, especially before you're married, is, is quite yeah, it's quite helpful because you, you can you can reach and interact with people uh -huh. on a different level than, than you can when you have already established your entire life. Right. I think it's it's a blessing that she's able to work with the local church here in the way that she is because honestly, the church here in Cambodia really is you know they're not having the easiest of time, and that's the truth with a lot of countries. And I think oftentimes our focus is you know I want to go in and change the church, but. The more I've been in the mission field, and I think Miranda thinks this way too, it's like our focus shouldn't be so much on changing people, but letting God work through us and letting God change the people. And that's really what it's all about, is just being here so that God can work through us, so that the Holy Spirit can work through us. So 
there's opportunities for young people and older. If you're older, you might get respect more quickly. If you're younger, you can learn language faster. Yeah. <laughs> and the culture. <laughs> That's true. Thank you so much for joining us on our vlog today. We hope it was an encouragement to you to do whatever God leads you to do to help finish his work here on this earth. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe if you like this video and join us next time for another vlog here on Mission Viewfinder.